Buenos días amigos de Spanish TV, yo soy Sheila Pasex. Si usted tiene hambre de música nueva, no se preocupe que aquí les traigo algunas para escoger. Julie Ingram CD Keep On Believing ya está a la venta. El nuevo sencillo está, se está escuchando que se llama I Love You. Si usted es amante de una voz country masculina, pues Dave Gibson les ofrece King Me, la cual es una canción country clásica que retrata los lazos familiares y problemas de la edad adulta joven. El reciente lanzado sencillo recibió elogios de la crítica mu musical en la ciudad. El crítico Robert K. Oldman de Music Row describe el relato como cantado con el corazón, producido con gusto y escrito con clase. El pasado mes le hablé de un dúo de hermanos que en estos momentos se encuentra en el país hermano de Colombia, haciendo un trabajo de caridad. Ellos son The Royce y su nuevo CD se llama Coming Back Around, que por cierto está muy bueno. Por otra parte, Enrique Iglesias se ha mantenido en el primer lugar por 14 semanas consecutivas en la tabla del Billboard con su canción Cuando me enamoro, en colaboración con Juan Luis Guerra. Pero Juanes no se queda atrás, ya que también se ha mantenido por 7 semanas consecutivas dentro de los 5 primeros lugares con su canción Yerbatero. Yo tengo que decirles que esta canción es contagiosa, señores. Y no puedo dejar de mencionar que Shakira se mantiene en los 10 primeros lugares con su canción Waka Waka, la cual lleva ya 9 semanas en esta posición. Esto es todo en la revisión de la música, pero no se preocupe que después de este corte comercial regresamos con las noticias. Hello, I'm Vanessa Croft with a Missing Children's Update. 14-year-old Esmeralda Santillan was last seen June 27, 2010 in Burns, Tennessee. She was seen with two to three Hispanic males in a black compact car. She was also wearing a black tank top, blue jean shorts, and Converse tennis shoes. She has a tattoo of a Hispanic female with a rose and initials on the left side of her chest. If you have seen Esmeralda Santillan, please contact Sergeant Tay Sturgill with the Burns Police Department at 615-446-8041 or 615-446-3635. With a Missing Children's Update, I'm Vanessa Croft. El próximo sábado habrá un concierto llamado Poro Pulusa con varios artistas de la música country y entre ellos se encuentra el italiano Cerito, ya que ustedes conocen. Este concierto se realizará el, con el propósito de ayudar a animales salvajes que por alguna razón u otra necesitan atención médica en un pequeño hábitat que se llama Walden's Puddle, a unos 20 minutos del centro de Nashville. Yo me fui hasta allá para entrevistar a Lane Brody, quien está a cargo del lugar y también organizando este concierto. This place over here is like a, a hospital for for yes. animals. Yes, this what we what we do. Walden's Puddle is it's called Walden's Puddle Wildlife Rehabilitation and Education Center. We take in injured and orphaned animals from all around the area, all around Middle Tennessee, 40 or so counties of all different species, a hundred or so mammals, birds, baby birds, hawks, eagles. Um, raccoons, possums, every kind of bird, and we rehabilitate them to go back out into the wild where mm -hmm. they belong. This is the only place in Middle Tennessee that does this work, very important work. And uh, right now, today, you saw children have some turtles to bring in. or We take in over 200 mm -hmm. uh, animals a year. And there's no federal or state funding. It's all by the generosity of people. Wow. Mm -hmm. Bueno, ya saben, eh, ellos necesitan plata. Así que donen plata. <laughs> Dinero. Mucho dinero. Uh, so what is the difference between this place and a zoo? All right. A zoo actually has animals that are there for people to come and enjoy and watch and, and uh, see. This is not that kind of a place. What we have behind us are the few enclosures for the animals that were non-releasable. Mm -hmm. Some of them had an injury in their eye where they're blind. In the case, I think, of the little screech owl. Um, some had a neurological disorder. 
they're, they can't function out in the wild. So, so it's not so it's not like that everybody can walk in here and no. come and see the animals. The emergency room is downstairs. The TWRA, which is the Tennessee Wildlife um, mm -hmm. Resource uh, Agency, there's laws, and we can't allow people to be down in the emergency room where these animals are being cared for. And there's a lot of issues about that. People putting their fingers in cages yeah. or getting bit or something that's not a good idea. Um, but they can come in here where we take admissions, and they can see our non-releasable animals here, and then our nature walk out in the mm -hmm. front. Today it's an exciting day for us. Bettina Bowers is just coming up here. This is our wildlife director. <laughs> so what is your role here? I'm the animal care director. So basically I'm in charge of everything that happens to these animals um, when they come before when they come in the door until they go out the door um, you know just basically filling out making out their plan of care deciding what type of care they need do they need veterinary care what what do we need to do to get these guys ready to get back out mm -hmm. there into the wild? And normally, how long would it take for an injured animal to get back in its feet? Um, that varies. I mean, just like with people, you know. Uh, and even with these guys, even more so because we really don't know what kind of shape they were in before whatever happened to them happened to them. Okay. Um, I mean, with some songbirds or something that hit a window, it might just be a couple of days. Mm -hmm. um, we've had eagles here that have been electrocuted that we've had wow. for over a year before we were able to release them. So it's just it just varies with the animal. But usually we're looking at a three to four month process mm -hmm. before they're totally able. Um, if we're raising young animals, um, the larger animals, fox, bobcat, things like that, coyote, they have to be five to six months old before they can be released back into the wild. Let me ask Sarito because I don't know, what is your involvement with all this? Well, my involvement is, first of all, gracias for being here, you know, with my <laughs> amiga Lane, who I love to death, and we sing together, and Lane and I have been friends for, for uh, quite a while now, through the country music, but we're also friends. But my involvement strictly, as far as Walden Puddle at this point was, I wasn't even familiar with Walden's Puddle. It was Lane that introduced me, and I have some very dear friends that uh, make endowments to Walden's Puddle all the time. So through Lane and my friendship, uh, she would tell me about Walden's Puddle and what she does for animals, and I feed birds and animals. Lane and I just rescued a cat a week ago. So for me, listen, it's a wonderful cause. Wild animals, animales, they, they're muy importante por la environment. Yeah. Also, people don't realize that animals have a lot to contribute to our environment. So for me este concierto tomará lugar el próximo sábado 21 de agosto en el Jogi Bear Jolly Stone Campground localizado en la 2572 Music Valley Drive. Esto es en cerca de la Opeline en la Bradley Parkway salida 12. El evento comenzará a las 12 con mucha diversión para toda la familia y recuerden que todas las ganancias beneficiarán al hospital de animales para ayudar a su rehabilitación. Quiero también hacer una corrección que el hospital ayuda a más de 2,000 animales de 100 tipos de especies. Si usted sabe de algún animalito que necesita ayuda, pues llame al número de teléfono 615-299-9938 o visite la www.waldenspottle.org. Todas las donaciones son deducibles.